Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. This is going to be my really straightforward guide to upgrade the Dragon Shield in Gorod Krovi. You're going to get tier mats more from this. The first step in all of this is to build the shield. Pretty straightforward. If you're going to upgrade the shield, you need the shield in the first place. So if you don't know how to do that, then there's a link in the description. Go feast your eyes on it. It's got all of the locations and you'll be fine and dandy. Once you've built the shield, you need to kill a load of zombies with it. Now, I've heard a lot of people saying, oh yeah, you have to kill zombies zombies with the fire specifically. In my game here, the reason I'm showing you sped up gameplay right now is I only killed maybe one or two zombies with the fire. The rest were all melee kills. I think you need to kill around between 40 and 50 or so. And then once you've done that, you'll hit a ding sound, which sounds like this. Now, one thing I want to make clear is that that sound is not the same as the sound your shield makes when it breaks, which sounds like this. Obviously, if your shield breaks, just go grab a new one and keep killing zombies. It'll break a few times throughout this process. So you've heard the ding. Good stuff. Now, around the map, there are going to be three locations where you'll find some keeper writing written on a wall or written on part of a robot or something like that. I'm going to show you the locations now. The first one I'm going to show you, but there's no order to these. You can do them in any order. First I'll show you is in the supply depot area. It's going to be on the roof here. What you need to do is shoot the keeper writing with your shield's fire ability. The reason we're doing this, by the way, is that the keeper writing, when translated using chronorium.com, translates to shoot light. So we're shooting the lights. So that was Supply Depot that I just did. The next I'll show you is going to be in the Dragon Command area. Come up onto the walkway here and you can see it just off to the side. The last one I'll be showing you is in the tank area. Just again, come onto the walkway on the right here and you'll see it up on this bit of metal. But bear in mind, this one does stream in a little slowly on PS4 and Xbox. So if it doesn't appear straight away, don't fret. Just give it a second and it should appear just fine. Shoot those in any order. As you do it, you'll hear a confirmation sound letting you know that you have hit them correctly. Once you get the last one, you'll get your confirmation sound and then it's onwards to the next step. For this, I recommend you wait until the end of a round, and as far as I'm aware, you basically just need to stand in some dragon fire for a little while. So what I did is I waited for a dragon to spawn in with two zombies left, and then I stood in the fire for the entire duration of the fire being there with my shield out. Just did my best to stand in it for the entire time, and what that did is, after two attempts of me standing in the fire for its full duration with my shield out, I heard another ding and I knew that I had completed the step. So stand in the fire and stand in the fire until you hear that ding. Once you get to this point, congratulations, you've actually finished it. Surprisingly, I thought there was going to be a lot more to this, but it was really straightforward, which is cool because you can then just go over to the dead dragon in the spawn, It'll have a little tooltip saying hold square to upgrade your shield. You give it the shield, it takes it, it absorbs it into the dragon, and then out pops your upgraded shield, and voila, you are now the proud owner of Tiamat's Maw. I'm going to have some gameplay of it on the screen now for you to check out, because whenever I post guides like this, people are like, Milo, if you're making a guide, we want to see gameplay of what the guide is for, what it does. And so I'm like, okay, I'll do it. Here's the gameplay, and to be honest, it is pretty awesome. It's pretty damn cool. I don't know the specifics of exactly what it does actually do to the shield. Obviously, you've got things like the red fire, which looks absolutely beastly. But other than that, I'm not sure exactly what it's doing. So I'd be really interested in hearing in the comments down below what you guys think this shield does in terms of stats. Maybe it can take more hits before it breaks. Maybe you can melee more zombies before it breaks. Maybe that red fire just does a hell of a lot more damage and that's it. I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, though. Thank you so much for watching. This has been my super straightforward guide for the upgraded shield on Gorod Krovi. Leave a like if you found this useful and you got your shield, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. It's hot! It's hot! It's hot! Be careful, everyone! I wouldn't want you to get hurt. Again. I could smell you before you got so close. That's what put me off. Double points! It's not always about the money, you know. For now, it is, but not always. <laughs> Nothing can withstand the intense heat of my shield's Sorry, that was just a little too uncomfortable for both of us.